All right, we're back. Graham's got places to go and people to do. Get the fuck out this desert. From uh, the temple wall, the temple, you can just pretty much haul ass east. I think it's about eight screens, seven or eight screens to get out of the desert. God. Well, there you are. I was just starting to get concerned. Don't worry about me, Cedric. I'm used to this kind of thing. It's like we got a fortune teller here. Let's talk to this man. The sullen man doesn't appear to be the conversational sort. All righty. A gypsy wagon is encamped here at the edge of the woods. On the side of the wagon, the words fortune teller have been painted. Oh shit. All right, I'll just let myself in then. Graham finds the huge beast completely uninteresting. The, bur the burly man keeps a watchful eye on Graham. It will cost you one gold coin to see Madamushka. Madamushka! Got a bushy pushka. Well, we happen to get a gold coin inside of the temple. Booyah! You may see Madamushka now. Thank you so much, Madamushka. Got a bushy pushka. Warning this cartoon contains material that may be necessary for information. Okay, well, we'll watch it. Jesus Christ. You are here to see Madamushka, no? Madamushka! Yes. Come closer. Deep down. Uh, uh, uh. I will tell Madame you your Mushka fortune. Got a bushy Already Mushka. I can tell that you are on a quest of great urgency. We will see what we can find out for you. Look around. Look into the crystal ball. Look into the bushy bush. Look what I have for you. Take a good look at what you did to my brother, Alexander. Because of you, he's doomed to spend the rest of his days as a cat, and there's nothing I can do about it. But you can do something about it. Since you're the one that did this to him, you're the only one who can turn him back on you. Back to Wizard Manana. Alexander! I don't know how, Bordek. I'm not a wizard. I just happened to stumble across a magic spell who accidentally turned your brother into a cat. I didn't mean it. Please believe me, Mordak. I don't know how to turn him back into a wizard. You're holding out on me, little man. You're taking advantage of my good nature, but not for long. If I don't get a change of tune from you soon, I'll feed your family to the cat, starting with your dear mother. <laughs> Remember what I said. I'll only give you a little more time to decide before your family becomes cat food. That is all. But I see that your mission is very dangerous indeed. I will give you something to help you. Yes, where is it? It is a magic amulet. It will protect you against all but the most powerful magic. Good luck, King Ram. Be careful. That border is a bad one. Thank you, Madam Mushka. Madam Mushka, the Bushy Bushka. Probably a good idea to go ahead and put the amulet on now. The magic amulet begins to glow softly as Graham slips it over his head. He then carefully tucks the amulet into the front of his tunic, hiding it from sight. Yeah, I don't want to go in your stupid thing. I just had my fortune told Brainiac. This 
is a weeping willow. Wink, wink. Uh, Miss Willow? Yes? You can talk? Why, of course I can. What did you expect? Well, I've never seen a talking tree before. What's wrong? Everything's wrong. Can't you tell? I'm not really a tree. I'm really a princess. You see, my fiancé and I were walking through this wood when a nasty old witch came along and was instantly charmed by my handsome prince. When he naturally refused her advances, she jealously banished him to a faraway land and turned me into a tree. Then she stole my heart. Stole your heart? What a yes. bitch! She turned my heart to gold and took it away with her. The only way I can become human again is to have my heart brought back. Now, all I have to cheer me up is my harp. It's quite magical, you know. It plays the sweetest music you've ever heard. Now please, leave me alone in my sorrow. Enter at your own risk. Ooh, no. Ooh, I'm not going in there. Can't you read the signs? Big surprise. Come on, Cedric. There might be something important in here. Go if you want to. I'll wait here. Wow, you're a lot of fucking help. Alrighty. This is a maze of sorts. What you want to do is go uh, west. Go back east. And bam, you're there. But it can be tricky if you don't do that exact direction. To Graham's great relief, it appears that the witch's magic has been stopped by the amulet he is wearing. Just Take. as Madame Mushka said it would. Madam Mushka with the Bushi Pushka. <clears throat> this is an old tarnished brass bottle. You want to give the old tarnished brass bottle to the witch. That's what she wants. What's this? And that's how we do it. Good. That old witch won't be seen here for a long time. But now, how to get out of this dreadful forest? Well, as they say, in order to get back, sometimes you must move forward. Schnar, schnar. All right. Let's see what's in the trunk here. A small, intricate spinning wheel is put away in the trunk. Reaching a hand into the trunk, Graham retrieves the small spinning wheel. A small leather pouch is tucked away in the drawer. Well, I'll take that. Graham reaches the drawer and removes the leather pouch. Let's uh, look inside the pouch here. The small leather pouch is drawn tightly. Well, then fucking open it. Upon opening the leather pouch, Graham discovers three sparkly <clears throat> emeralds. Alrighty, three sparkly emeralds. What's this? Why, it's a little key. Alright. I think that's all we need from the house. The key, the spinning wheel, and the pouch with the three emeralds. Now, let's see if we can figure out how to get the fuck out of here. This place is starting to give me the creeps. Ah, mommy. Uh, let's go east. A 
small door built into the trunk of a large twisted tree catches Graham's attention. And we will continue on with the small door and the big tree in the next segment. All right, my fantastic fellow fucktards, we are back. Let's see what's deep inside this tree. Graham finds that the little key fits perfectly in this lock. Graham is charmed to find a little golden heart inside the door of the twisted old tree. Well, 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 who do we need this heart for? Reaching into the little door of the tree, Graham extracts the little golden heart. Extract my ball sack, too, while you're at it. The looming castle of the witch, who was a serious bitch, and we took care of her. Uh oh. Well, we can see some eyes peering at us in the forest. Let's uh, squeeze out some honeycomb on the ground. Graham squeezes the honeycomb as hard as he can, which causes the honey to drip out of it onto the ground, creating a sticky little puddle at his feet. Now all that's left of the honeycomb is a piece of beeswax. Which right. Graham puts back in his pocket. Let's see if we can lure these little guys from their hiding. Come on, little guy. Gotcha. Wait, let me go. I beg of you. Why should I do that? What will you do for me? I'll show you the way out of the forest, if you let me go. How do I know I can trust you? I give you my word. An elf never breaks his word. Well, it's against my better judgment, but okay. Rocky! Fuck out the way, Rocky. cartoon contains material that may we know the drill uh, uh. <laughs> that's my beatboxing skills right there folks Ta-ta! D&G, hello! Oh, oh, oh. Alright, let's go find that weeping willow and give her her heart. Oh, I'm glad to see you're okay. I was 
is in his way. You were right not to want to venture in that dark forest, Cedric. I thought I'd never get out of there alive. But we did, because the great game hoarder is with us. Alright, there you go, you lovely weeping willow of a tree. My heart, you found it. Damn Skippy. Oh shit, bitch wasn't lying. I don't need this old thing anymore. Ha! Giggity, giggity, giggity. Me. I'm a princess again. Alicia. Ah shit, she got a man. Ah, oh, fuck my life. God damn, grab that booty. Where have you been all this time, my love? Oh, Seriously? Darling, just take me home. I'll tell you on the way. Oh, snap. Homeboys get lucky tonight. <clears throat> now, why would she toss aside this beautiful harp? Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. Damn right we will. Oh, the fortune teller's gone. They left behind something. Not seeing the tambourine's owner, Graham bends down and rescues it from the ground. Yes, that's what we do. We are in the business of rescuing other people's items. And using them on other people. Little gnomes! Excuse me, sir. Oh, I'm terribly sorry to bother you. I was just noticing your son's marionette. It's very interesting. Where did you get it? It's grandson, not son. And I made it for him. Why do you care? I just wanted to comment on its artistry. It's very well done. I don't suppose it could be bought. If it could, the price would be very steep. I reckon you couldn't afford it. Now, leave me and my grandson be. Whatever, Rumpelstiltskin. I bet you you want a fucking spinning wheel. Where did you get this? I thought I'd lost it. Oh, is it yours? I found it in the old witch's house in the dark forest. So that's where it got to. The old hack took it, eh? You know, it ain't an ordinary spinning wheel. It's not? What's so special about it? Why, this spinning wheel can spin Oh, give right. that shit back. Except you got to know who to use it. I don't even the witch could figure that out. Thank you for bringing it back to me. Oh, wait. Not so fast. How about that marionette? Don't you think the price of the spinning wheel is worth at least twice that of the puppet? I'd love to have it. Yeah, I guess so. Boy, give that marionette to the man here. I'll make you a new one. Come on, boy. Let's gather up some wood for a new puppet. Now we, ha now we have obtained the marionette. All right. Check out this haystack here. Graham watches with surprise as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack and begins to swarm through it. Ah, our little ant buddies. By the way, they're singing, We're the ants, led by King Antony. We're coming to help King Garam. He is a puss, so we must help him, because he is so gay, he cannot I find. I can see that it was the wind that we should be of help to you. 
the needle in the haystack. I found a gold needle in the haystack. Well, I brought it for a to you. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Perhaps. Why, thank you, King Anthony. I'm honored. Good luck in your travels, King Grand. And be careful. Alrighty, we'll be back. Alright, here we are, we're back. Let's get to town, see what we can do with inventory we got. Suddenly, frantic squeakings alert Graham to a mangy cat chasing a terrified rat. Fucking take her old shoe and fucking throw that shit. Oh, motherfucker, eat that! Alrighty, we saved the rat from the cat. That shit is fat. Oh god, here we go with the fucking farm music. Turn that shit down. Well, we just recently got a golden needle, so let's go to the tailor, see if he has any interest in that. May I help you, sir? Well, you can check out this gold needle I got, you yeah, gay bob. My golden needle, wherever did you find it? was in a haystack by the country inn. By the inn? Oh, yes. I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh, vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. No scruples? Well, I'm glad to see that you is got your golden definitely a word of gay folk. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to By the way, I love gay people. cloak in exchange for it? The cloak? Well, why not? It's yours. For the price of a golden needle. Put the cloak up, queer bait. Thank, Thank you, you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. Thank you, kind fudge packer. I'm sure it will. Good luck. Au revoir. Au revoir, but but pirate. All right. Go check out this shop over here. Toy shop. So did you get this Mumba bar near your neck? A crap catcher? It's excellent. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. I must have it. Can I buy it from you? Actually, you may have it if you'll give me the sled in trade. Why, of course. But I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal. I, I can always make another sled. But finding another marionette of this quality... It might make... Just give me the fucking sled, oh, fat boy. Yeah, yeah. Take it, it's yours. Christ. Thank you very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Oh, yeah. Well, you enjoy it, son. I got your donka here. Next! Take a look around if you want, but we don't have any shoes to sell you right now. No shoes to sell me right now. Look here, you old bitch. 
I got a sh I got a pair of shoes to sell you. Just shut up. Shut the everyone shut the fuck up. Shoe time. What have we here? Mama, take those shoes from the young man. Let me see them. These are the finest pair of shoes I've ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. The craftsmanship of these shoes was superb. And Mama, look at the solid gold buckle. Well, I could retire from the sale of these shoes. Then the shoes are yours. I don't think I can find a better use for them. You are a god, said young man. How can we ever repay you? You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retired, I won't need it anymore. Thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could be very useful on my journey. Look at that man. King Ram's like a fucking major package of 401k. We'll never forget this. That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now on. Come on, Muggle, let's go home. Let's celebrate our good fortune. Didn't even sell the shoes yet, fat boy. Jesus. So anyways, you come to town. You visit the three shops, you leave with a cloak, a sled, and a hammer. Fucking great. That's a great arsenal of tools. Get out of that noisy ass shithole. I remember seeing a building back here we haven't quite yet explored, so let's go check it out. Check it out, motherfucker! Ooh, I'll wait for you out here. I don't like that place. That's your problem. Gentlemen, please excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm fucking terrified of this fat bastard. Diana's bull ain't got no war room. Hey, boss. This guy looks like a real troublemaker. What do you want me to do with him? Rub him out. Rub him out. Snarf, snarf, snarf. Struggle as he might, Graham could not escape his bond. You die here if you haven't helped a certain someone. That someone being a little fat rat. Who chews like an M16. I told you I'd repay your kindness when you saved me from that horrible cat. Good luck, friend. Alright. The rat has freed us. Let's go ahead and pick up this rope. Graham stoops down and picks up the sturdy rope from the stone floor. And then let's get the a fuck out of here. padlock securing the door prevents Graham from leaving the cellar. Rusty padlock? You know what I gotta say to the rusty padlock? It's hammer time! Oh! 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 Pounds on the rusty padlock Just kidding. Until it breaks apart. That's why hammer, that's why MC Hammer lost his job. Cause he sucked. Alright, now I can get the fuck out of here. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Well, we're taking that. Reaching yum, yum. into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg of lamb. My leg of lamb, son! Finding the kitchen door locked, Graham unlocks it before going outside. All right. Remind me not to go in that end anymore, Jesus. Bastards. Bunch of dickheads around this place.
I think it's time to go deal with that little snakey snake snake. Pretty sure we have the right tool. What do we have that sounds similar to a snake? A key, a pie, a harp, empty pouch, beeswax, leg lamp, rope, hammer, cloak, amulet, wand, slip, tambourine. Be gone, you slithery varmint. Gah. That's right. Fuck out of here. And we can travel east into the great mountains of snowy snow, snow, snow. Now, if you haven't a few hours later acquired the correct items, you will die here. One of the most important being the cloak. Graham dons his warm cloak for protection against the freezing mountain air. And we will be back someday. <laughs>